This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host Robbie Hall back in the studio with me. Good morning. We've got to start off with saying congratulations. Robbie won the Charles Cahooley Award last week uh, for being uh, such a good uh, volunteer for our town, an advocate for our town, just a, an all-round uh, supporter of our town. So congratulations, Robbie. Thank you. And also, I'm against you. Yeah, and yes, you were up against me too. <laughs> congratulations, Robbie. That's fantastic. I'm going to let Great you, achievement. Yes, it is. I'm going to let, put the show over to you now, Rob, and introduce your guest. Good morning, Sean, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here again. Appreciate it. T today, we, are, uh, we like to talk about the Torch One and the Special Olympics Golf Tournament. Very good. I look forward to it. How many years has the Torch One and Tor being operating. So this would have been our 36th year, but with COVID, uh, we're celebrating our 35th year of the Torch Run being uh, in Ontario um, and Canada. Came to Canada in 1987. What, what are the dates and location for the one and Tor? So the Torch Run Toll will be Friday, June the 2nd. It'll be from 9 to 5 uh, in its uh, normal staple location under the Chamber Street underpass. I um, want to point out that this is voluntary, that it's not an obligation for uh, people to be donating. Uh, we do welcome any and all uh, donations. The support goes a long way towards supporting the athletes. Um, big thing for the public and motorists, just be safe, slow down while they're on their way through, right? The torch run itself will be the following day on Saturday, June the 3rd. So athletes will be meeting uh, at the mall. Uh, there'll be a bit of a meet and greet and uh, photo opportunities. Uh, then the run starts at 10 uh, and it uh, ends at the arena on the other side of town. What are the funds and ways for this event? So the funds raised, um, it, the Torch Run is the fundraising arm for the Special Olympics. So it goes to the support of all the programs uh, that all the athletes are engaged in. Uh, and to date, uh, wonderful to say that over $40 million has been raised since 87 uh, in support of the athletes and all the um, activities and uh, programs are involved in. And that money uh, is, it, it does stretch thin. We're 20, over 26,000 athletes now. So. The support is greatly welcomed. Where is the golf tournament being held and on what day? So the Special Olympics Golf Tournament um, being put on by the Kinsmen this year is going to be at the Smith Falls Golf and Country Club. That'll be on Wednesday, June the 14th, uh, starting at 1 p.m. What can people and businesses do if they want to get involved. Uh, so in order to get involved, we welcome any uh, volunteer, sponsor, or donations. Um, also putting in a team, sponsoring a hole, providing things for the silent auctions, right? Uh, the more volunteers, the better. Uh, the more things we can auction off to help raise funds as well. Um, the nice thing about the, uh, the, the golf tournament too is not everybody's going to want to golf. So there's a dinner option there as well. Can anyone play in Any, a tournament and what is the cost? Anyone can play. Anyone can put a team. Uh, we're looking at teams between uh, four and six golfers. Uh, if you're a member of the um, Smith Falls Golf and Country Club, it'll be a hundred dollars uh, to enter. If you're a non-member, it'll be 125. Who are the contacts for the tournament? So the contacts, uh, they'll be put up on our Facebook page. They, uh, they'll be shared again. Uh, they are also on the uh, Special Olympics page. Uh, BEEP is 880-4434 or beep at kojiko.net. And the other contact would be Judy. So Judy's phone number is 430-9132. And her email address is jones underscore judy at hotmail.com. So that could be for volunteering, putting in a team, uh, providing items for the silent auction or what have you as well. So, 
Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, I'd like to say that uh, the golf tournament, wonderful, wonderful way to get to know our athletes, uh, provide um, valuable funds and resources uh, for the Special Olympics. The Kinsmen have put in a lot of work. The Special Olympics have put in a lot of work. Um, and because of that, uh, another shout out to the Kinsmen. Uh, the Bike Safety Rodeo uh, is going to be taking place uh, this Saturday, May 27th. Um, there will be two kind of age and time slots uh, for that. So kids eight years and younger will be 10 a.m. to noon and eight, uh, eight years of age and older from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And that will be down at the arena. Uh, there'll be obstacle course set up on the outdoor rink and uh, things set up on the, uh, on the uh, parking lot surface as well. And uh, I understand there's gonna be um, some bike readiness. So they'll make sure that the bikes are ready to hit the road. Uh, and then the bike safety component that the Kinsmen and the other volunteers are looking at. As well, if you're, anybody's looking to volunteer, um, high school students need, need it for their graduation, uh, please reach out to the Kinsmen um, in order to, uh, to help out or show up in the morning. And thank you for joining us, Sean. We will look forward to these upcoming events. Robbie, Kathy, thanks so much for having me, and thanks for this opportunity to share uh, this wonderful news and in support of uh, Special Olympics. How many uh, athletes did you say there are? Over 26,000. 26,000, and 50 of them are, are uh, we, I think we have more than 50 here just in the Lanark area. <clears throat> and Robbie, you are one of our athletes too. What are the sports you participate in? Bowling, swimming, and monkey ball. And bocce ball. Excellent, excellent. That's impressive. Three sports. Good for you, Robbie. Yeah, he's very busy with this sort of stuff, too. So the, the help that we get from the law enforcement torch run, so, so appreciated. Let's talk about the torch run just for a second, too, sure. because um, we're going to gather over at the Settlers Ridge Center right across the street from our studio That's here. Right. Anybody can participate. You, you, the police officers bring their families, their children, and uh, our athletes bring their families, and it's just a great time. It's a huge event. It is a huge event. It's huge for the community. It's huge for our families. It's huge for our kids to get out and participate. Um, it's great for the community. Um, this is able to, to raise awareness uh, for the athletes, to learn who they are and what they're all about and what sports they participate in and to support the the sports that they participate in at a provincial level right when they're out competing so uh, not only a, a fun day not only an exciting day and a learning experience but uh, a great way to raise funds as well and peterborough usually comes down the peterborough police peterborough Department. police are a great supporter of this they come down every year and they uh, usually bring uh, cruisers and a Winnebago join us. Uh, one of the RV centers in town is a great uh, sponsor to donate that for the day. Um, so we have wonderful support throughout the town and throughout the law enforcement community, right? So That's right. We get a big flatbed uh, trailer too. A lot of our athletes go on there. A lot of our athletes run. Robbie, how do you get through the torch run? In the police car with you, yes. with the chief. I think that you're with the chief leading the show this year, aren't you? That'll be wonderful. That's your seat, isn't it? That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, I thank you for everything you do, Sean. You worked nights last night, and here you are at the FYI studio this and morning. Also in, and also Saturday, we'll be doing more collecting money at Canadian Tire. There we go. That's right. That's Excellent. right. You usually go over there after the torch run, and uh, Canadian Tire helps us out as well, too. So Canadian Tire, wonderful sponsor, wonderful assistance that they provide, and allowing yep. us to toll there as well. Yep. Get your sunscreen. Absolutely. You're outside for two days. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us, Sean Keoghan, the Constable Sean Keoghan from our Smith Falls Police Department, our uh, Community Service Officer. Thank you very much. Working nights back in here today too. Thanks so much for having me. And thank you, Robbie, for coming in again once again.